Hello and welcome to this 200th episode of Inkscape for Teachers. In this episode I'm going to show you how to use the Inkscape Spirograph extension. I'll just move across and I'll show you it's under Extensions, Render and third from the bottom Spirograph. Now you can try different settings. You know, that's largely experimental. You might want to do a little bit of research on the, the internet to uh, see what the different uh, values represent the main ring, the gear that rotates around and I guess the distance from the centre of the, the gear radius is this pen radius but anyway if I uh, just put in some values there, I think you put in exact multiples you often get uh, very simple shapes but it's when things are a little bit off being a multiple of the other that you get interesting patterns anyway you can click live preview to have a look at those oops, oops I've taken it out, I'll put it back in it's just a bit slow and there's one pattern can change things, I want to change that to 29 for example and click in another box to automatically update there you go, I want to make this 110 you can experiment but uh, it only updates after you click in another box and you know, there's quite an odd one there ok, let's try a couple more well, you know, it's not particularly thrilling that one is it Let's try making this one a bit different. And that's a bit more interesting now you're talking. Anyway, uh, just to let you know that that is a function in Inkscape and you may want to play around with it in creating designs or letting students uh, play around with that. Once again, and perhaps for the final time, thanks for, thanks for watching. All the best. Bye for now.